Hello, customer. Today we are going to introduce how to upgrade remote drive to direct drive. This is a Wang Hao direct drive extruder to replace a remote drive. Okay, so when you purchase the upgrading pack, you will have one of the extruder, near end extruder, uh, without BL touch. If you have the BL touch, you can put it. Uh, install it um, to here and uh, you will have one of the cable the motor cable and uh, four bolts and uh, one row of the plastic a uh, spring and uh, two of the binding so now we uninstall this extruder from the printer okay Let's start to uninstall. The direct uh, remote drive. On the back of the printer, there are lo two locking bolts. Use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to uninstall this. Okay, one bolt, the second bolt. All right, the two bolts off. Push the feeding locker so you can pull the extruder off and push the cable locker push and the pull let me check okay so now we only have the data cable and also the gantry. We read the gantry a little bit by we twist the the axis. So the gantry will move up. So it's easier for you to install. So this one is a uh, near end, we are going to lock these three bolts. So, on the gantry, there are four of the locking bolts. We will use three of them. Yeah, we can use the former bolts or we have another four piece of the bolts. So you can use all of them. One, Here's a hole for your location. Okay, the first bolt don't have to be too tight because you may need a little adjustment. Okay, the second one, the third one. Right, and then you lock all of them. Yeah, on the top, you see here is the the bolts. Okay, so the direct drive is already installed, and now follow me. We need to install the cable, the motor cable. So invert one side into the socket. On the upper side, check the E1 extruder. Here, E1. And on the E1, there's a E1 motor cable. Connect the E1 motor cable with the connector. Okay, E1. 
Also, insert the main extruder data cable into the O, O match O, into the socket. Okay, this two is well located. And then we also have one of the spring, a plastic spring. So we can You use your scissors to cut. And we have uh, two of the binding cable. Uh, some of them you want, you, you have the BL touch. So the BL touch can go up. You can lock, lock them. But actually, you can use it or do not use it. It's all okay. It's all up to you. So this is a double locker. The both sides can be well locked. And uh, the near end uh, extruder can move freely. Okay, that's a way to upgrade the uh, direct extruder. Thank you for your watching.